Washington have asked for a better day for high school football teams to start practice. An unprecedented spring season is upon us, with the first games just 16 days away. WCI3's Andy Olson stopped by two practices this afternoon and has more on how area players and coaches are preparing to play during a pandemic. There were points where high school players and coaches had given up on hearing these sounds this season. There were some dark days for sure. I'd love to tell you I stayed positive all the time, but I didn't. And I'd love to tell you it was easy to keep the kids motivated and positive all the time, but it wasn't. So we're so thankful to be doing it. I just had hopes no matter what, even though when, like sometimes when hopes were really good and the next thing you know they went really bad. So I just kind of try to stay positive the entire time. That was one of the things that made Wednesday so much sweeter for Moroa Forsyth in Monticello. For both, it was the first time since October they were able to practice as a full team. To be out here, and it's been 18 months since you, you're really having an official practice. It, it's a little weird. It's, a, it's almost like being a, a new teacher, a new coach for me. I did think we'd have a season or at least a couple games, so I tried to stay in shape. and. Now it's just really getting back to learning the plays again. Both these teams only have a few weeks of practice before their first games of the season. That's shorter time than usual to ramp up for a season, but both coaches and players believe they'll be ready in time. There's going to be all sorts of obstacles this year, and that's one of them. Uh, we're just approaching it as we're going to adapt and have as much fun as we can, try to get some experience for, for some kids for next year and let the seniors have as much fun as possible. Well, uh, my coach that's in charge of our pregame stuff uh, texted and said, you better hurry up because they're about ready to uh, get started without. And, you know, that's great, and, and that's what it's all about, getting the kids back out here and letting them have fun and go out on their own terms. With basketball season still going on, juggling practice schedules is certainly a challenge, but both athletes and coaches say it's well worth it. Reporting, Andy Olson, WCIA 3 Sports. Andy, thanks. So good to see high school football back out there. We've got full court Friday going on. We've got Friday football fever coming up in just a couple of weeks. It's a busy time when you combine that with Illinois, but all good stuff. Yeah, yeah. exciting. All right, Brett, thanks. This Friday